Ahmed from the U.S. Um, thank you for taking my call. I have a, just a single question that I'd like to ask you. Sure. Um, so, and um, as Muslims, um, obviously we face a lot of challenges and we get to a situation where we're, we're unable to decide and we want to seek Allah's guidance in our decision making. Um, and we use the sunnah of the Prophet of doing istikhara. So in the process of istikhara, we all know the, uh, 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 the, 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 the text or in, uh, the dua that we use and the, the process that we use in which we do istikhara. However, in this day and age, uh, when you decide uh, on something and you do your dua and you proceed, a lot of times, in general, when you pursue uh, uh, anything um, and trying to sense whether or not this is going to be what Allah has chosen for you, um, life in general is difficult. You'll find obstacles, people are not answering the phone, uh, that, that you have a flat tire to go to your endeavor that you're intending on finding out if it's the right thing to do. Life is full of challenges in general. So how do you, how do you differentiate or get that true feeling and knowing if you're doing, if what you're doing is a byproduct of just life, normal struggles to get to something, uh, or it is a, a, a sign from Allah that you shouldn't do, and don't slip into the superstition aspect of, of uh, satire or thinking that somehow uh, if I go right, this feels this way. If I go, it becomes there is some form of superstition that gets confused or, or fused. Okay, into Ahmed. The Ahmed, I will answer you, inshallah. First of all, the concept that istikhara is to help you decide which is right and which is wrong, this is not true. The Prophet's hadith is clear, alayhi salatu was salam. If you attempt to do something, so if I have a choice between two things, I have to select one of them and ignore the second. Khalas, my mind is set up, I'm going to do this thing. Then I pray istikhara. What is istikhara? Istikhara is a dua. Asking Allah Azza wa Jal to facilitate this thing to happen and make it easy if there's any good in it for me. And I proceed. If there is good in it for me, Allah will make it happen. There's no such thing as a sign or I'm feeling good about it, I'm feeling bad about it. I have a dream. I saw a cat pass by me. I, had, uh, I saw an accident in front of me. No, this is irrelevant. You pray istikhara, you make the dua and you proceed in doing what you had made your choice to do. If there's good in it, it will happen. If there's no good in it, Allah will make it not happen. How will Allah make it not happen? This is in Allah's hands. Whether you go a number of times and you're being rejected, or there is an obstacle that cannot be solved, or you simply are turned off. You, you say, I don't want it anymore. I don't want to buy this car. I don't want to marry this woman. Totally turned off. And this is part of the Sahara and Allah knows best. 